Hey all, it's time to check out Suicide Squad's latest trailer. 3, 2, 1, play. Gentlemen, ladies, what if Superman had decided to fly down, rip off the roof of the White House, grab the president right out of the Oval Office? Who would have stopped him? I want to build a team of some very bad people who I think can do some good. Y'all jokers must be crazy. What? This is the deal. You disobey me, you die. Try to escape, and you die. You a boyfriend? You irritate or vex me. I'm known to be quite vexing. I'm just forewarning you. You die. If they get caught, we throw them under the bus. What a ride! Let's play! Come on, get some better tips. This guy. Uh, uh. Not good. Don't forget, we're the bad guys. Are you sweet talking me? All of that chit chat's gonna get you hurt. Oh, I was just trying to get you there. You know how it feels, right? We good. What you having? Beer. Whiskey. What am I, 12? How about you, hot stuff? Water. That's a good idea, honey. All right. Um, good trailer. Good trailer, solid trailer. Um, once again, the background music. I think there are two different songs playing. Can't be sure, I don't know what they were. Um, but still suited the, trailers, the trailer very well. Um, ever since from the first trailer, there was a good song. Second, uh, okay, good song. Um, not something that I would jump up and down for. Uh, it was a, it was a different rendition from the original, but it's okay. It, it suited the trailer. Second, second trailer as well. It had a, it had a good song, and now the third trailer. Yeah, I, I like where this is going. David Ayers, I, I like how what he, what he did with the, the, the movie. I think. The tone is quite clear. His style is his style is there, and it's it's um it's kind of a different feel for this Suicide Squad. Uh, when compared to his previous movie, I think this will have a very different tone, a very different feel from what he's used to or what we are used to his direction. And uh, I thought Margot Robbie, Harley Quinn, she's. She looks crazy. She looks gorgeous, though. Uh, I think she's gonna be the scene stealer every single time in this movie. Uh, there's a lot of Katana, whom I kind of thought that she was gonna be one of the first one that gets killed off by the director um, to serve uh, one of the plot points for the story, perhaps. But she's got a lot of screen time even right at the end of the trailer so she's probably not the first one that's gonna get booted off the squad it uh, we've only seen one shot of Kara developing something uh, the Enchantress she could be the first one to go or she could be the one that pops in and out quite randomly um, not a regular on screen there are, I, I remember there are a few others that um, 
makes up the squ the whole squad. I think there are what ten, ten of them, it's nine, ten. Uh, too many, right? Too many, way too many to all have the uh, uh, equal screen time. Way too many for uh, the director to focus properly on. So that's why I think that a couple of them will get killed off early on. Uh, one concern I have though is. Will Smith, Will Smith's that shot, to me, especially in that middle, the joke, uh, it felt a bit, it felt like something isn't, is something that Will Smith will do, it feels like that is still Will Smith, and he's not bringing something new to the table here, to this character, so that's my only concern. Uh, other than that, uh, the rest of the squad, they look great um, from what we've seen here. The, uh, the humor, most of it worked as well, uh, apart from that, that one with Will Smith. Because, and and the, the placing of that, that joke, right? The placement felt like the, it was the same uh, pocket as Batman v Superman, the second trailer, where a lot of people didn't like the one with the Doomsday that popped up in the end when you shouldn't have. Let's not go into the, all that again. Uh, it felt, this one, this joke felt like it was that and it's not, it didn't really work because it was something that's kind of a little bit cheesy and it's too Will Smithy. Uh, apart from that, hmm, what else? Oh, Batman. There's a shot of Batman. Uh, action sequence on the on top of the, the on the roof of the car where the pictures were all over the internet when they were shooting it. That one, and also uh, he flew in or he jumped in to the screen and dived into the water. I think, and he was wearing. We couldn't really see his face, could we? Uh, I thought that may not even be Ben Affleck. I, I didn't recognize from... Granted, it was very fast. I didn't see his face. He could be wearing something on his mouth, a mouthpiece maybe. Um, yeah, but uh, I'm eager to see the chemistry between Harley Quinn and Joker. We've, we have not seen them together. Um, with dialogue yet so far so uh, yeah I'm looking forward to that um, what else uh, I think that's it uh, like the trailer I think the movie has a lot of potential also a lot of expectation to live up to especially with Batman v Super Superman didn't wasn't a flop in any way but uh, it didn't meet expectations, it didn't meet critics' expectations, fans as well, some of the fans didn't like it. I personally, I, it was okay for me, I, I gave it a 7 out of 10. Um, I thought it would be like a 9, but it didn't meet that expectation. That's why I think this Suicide Squad has a lot to live up to, because it needs to, it needs to pick it up where... Batman v Superman failed to do so. It needs to live up to the hype of DC. DC is building this universe. It needs to get there. It needs this movie needs to be big. Anyway, that's all from me. Thanks for watching. See you again.